bloodstream. We're recording this now, so yeah, you should receive message. We're recording this, so you're okay with that? Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> I can introduce. This is Francesco, our bass player. Hello, Hello Francesco. How are you? Good. Very good. good. How is it going for you? Good. I love, I love you. You know, you outside scenery, beautiful. Oh, enjoying the summertime, of course. Yeah, yeah, there's not not much summer in UK, I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but we are almost on our way to Spain, so early in the morning we have to go to the airport to Frankfurt to go to Spain. Uh, you have a, you have a, are, you are you are you flying over there in Spain? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't check the I didn't check the schedule. You you playing guys? So yeah, I'm warming up with the rum and coke. Cheers. We're Cheers. just drinking water. Cheers. This is German water. <laughs> it's German water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, uh, uh, the Freedom Column is from Nuremberg, isn't it? Yeah. It's my, so it's it's the headquarter. It's in Nuremberg. Yeah. My my father lives in Nuremberg. Oh, really? Yeah. Since 1969, since he ran away from from Czechoslovakia. Okay. So let's talk in German. No, I don't. No, I'm not that. I'm not that fluent in German anymore since I learned English a little okay. bit. <laughs> yeah, I understand a little bit, but not. Ah, not, not, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> but I don't speak überhaupt nichts. Okay, also geht. Es funktioniert. <laughs> yeah, let's try. Let's try stick with the with the English language, though. Okay, we we try. Thank you. We give our best. <laughs> okay. So honestly, usually, so it's no problem to have an English interview with a Scandinavian guys, with the Spanish guys, but I'm always a little bit excited to have interviews with the British guys. See, so, I'm not British. I'm from Czech Republic. So especially from Scotland or some something else. Yes, but I like the accent though. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to hear, but uh, I can't understand. Yeah, some some <laughs> words, yeah, really hard to understand. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's start. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear the sound. Probably not. Yeah. Can you hear something? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to play, you know, if we on a Zoom, we'll, you know, we will hear the, the music yeah. as well. So, yeah, uh, well, that's fine. No worries. Anyway, so, okay. Uh, my tonight's guest is uh, the singer, guitarist, songwriter, and the founder of Freedom Call, uh, yeah. Chris, Chris Bay, and bass split player Francesco. Yes, Francesco Ferraro. Francesco Ferraro, the bass player. Yeah. Well, hello, good evening, gentlemen. How are you tonight? Fine, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Enjoying uh, the summertime, sitting at the terrace, having a German water. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Cheers to that German water. I have some rum, rum nice and coke. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, just uh, I was just you know going through all this stuff information. So um, the the Freedom Call just celebrating twenty five years this year. Next year. Right? Next year. Next. It's a next year actually. Next year. Yeah, it, it depends on. So I'm counting from the first release on. Ah, so but it's you. But we okay. started in in ninety eight, so it could be this year. But I'm counting from the first release. All right. So next so, year, so yeah. next year will be the twenty fifth. So there will be big celebration, big shows, and big, you know, headline tour, and so on, so on. So, Chris, you've so far released twelve albums total. Is that right? Ten studio albums. Yep. Two live albums, and the next one is coming out next week on Friday. That's so it. Yeah, that's what we talk about. The the metal. The metal fest. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, so that's this is exactly what I was trying to play to you, but you can't hear it from uh, from the sky, okay, which okay. we are live from Nuremberg today, yeah. Nuremberg, Germany, <laughs> and I have I have Chris Bay, the singer and founder of the Freedom Call, and Francesco, the bass player from the Freedom Call as well, on the on this call tonight. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, gentlemen. And let's talk about this live album. So yeah. I I think I over you know just see some some news and stuff. 
Um, where was recorded most majority of these? And it's a live album, isn't it? Yeah. And why? Where and why was uh, you know pick up these locations? For why? The why is the best question? Okay, why? <laughs> Come over it later. <laughs> um, this time, usually you are preparing recordings like this when you go into a big festival because the circumstances are quite chaos and a lot of lots of bands lots of gear and this time we did it quite spontaneously so honestly on our way to the festival to the metal fest in the czech czech republic right we had some call to the crew and to the promoter if they can um, prepare some technical things and it was really a last minute decision to record the show. And uh, then we had an extra show in Germany we recorded. And you can see this live album and the Blu-ray like a patchwork video, movie, film, road movie, whatever you're calling this. But um, this was the one side and the other side, it makes it more authentic. So it's not a Hollywood production where everything is fine and we are looking great and we have hairdressers and all these things with us. No, it's just a show in our usual life. Or, Francesco? Yeah, it was really easy going. So the mood was great. The crowd was uh, great. The crew was <laughs> amazing. So we just decided, yeah, why not? We saw the products, so yeah, why not? Because in these times, in the digital times, it's not this big effort to record a show. So in the early days when we recorded our first live album, we had these recording machines with us and all these uh, fucking cables everywhere around the stage and things. But in this time, you just take in a USB stick and you can <laughs> record a show in a professional way. So um, unbelievable, you know, so yeah, last last couple of years and you know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all are 25, 21 year, years old. You as well, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Chris, um, the album will be released next Friday, right? Yes. So Big day. You, re you already released a couple, couple singles ahead of that. Uh, I was trying to play the the one which is behind me, the metal fast. Yeah. And uh, I was uh, I was going you know from through the through the playlist on the on the album if you will, and the that's the first one, and the next one is the intro. So you skip you're going from from the song then the intro, and then you do the whole set. Yeah, so it was, it was on purpose. Was usually bands taken uh, some bonus tracks just at the end of the live album or anything like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because of the title the metal fest it's just a welcome song it's the new right. song and it just say says welcome to the metal fest enjoy and watch the show or listen listening to the to the uh, live album it's just the opposite okay. you're putting the new song in front of so why so who pick up the the list because i was just wondering you know yourself or you did the whole team so how how this was happening it it was the set list we played over the uh, last three years like this okay. before okay. the pandemic started all right yeah because so i i think it's a little bit focused on our um current album the metal and that was our show that we recorded to welcome the people to our show the metal fest quite easy so not a big deal well um well let's go back let's go back to the beginning of freedom call um do you remember the day i said well you woke up in the morning i said well i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna set up this freedom call band how did this happen <laughs> so at these times when i started with freedom call i didn't woke up in the morning i woke up in the afternoon <laughs> all right you woke up in the afternoon okay yeah. even better yes yeah. <laughs> oh i i think that was a was a process so um still one of my best friends uh the drummer of gamma ray in these times daniel zimmermann 
and I, I spent a lot of time with him. Friends, we were mountain biking, we were hiking and climbing in the mountains and things like this. And I played with, in several bands with Daniel. And I started to write the first songs, the first song ideas of Freedom Call for the Stairway to Fairyland album. And I just um, uh, asked Daniel to listen to it. So just to uh, asking for some advices or whatever. And he liked it. He liked it. Um, surprisingly, <laughs> he liked it. And then we continued to write the first album, Stairway to Fairyland. And then after, I think after finishing the album, then we were looking for band members. And then we found Ilka Azin on the bass guitar and Sasha Gerstner. Now he's playing for Halloween. And then we just started. And we were really lucky bastards at these times because we really could start in a high status. So we didn't have to start to play in small clubs in Nuremberg or play in some things. We could start in a very high status from the, from the beginning on. So that I really have to say to all the starting bands and new bands, they would like to build up a band yeah, there's some uh, some elements that makes it much easier, and that is luck. <laughs> yes, that's yes. it. Yes, luck. Yeah, be on, a, be on the right place in the right time. That's something exactly. they're saying. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, so Chris, you're the songwriter. So, where you get inspiration from usually? Ooh, so, uh, firstly, I have to say, not from listening to music, because I'm not listening to music. Not as much. I'm never listening. I, I'm when I'm driving in my car, radio is off. Mm -hmm. So I'm enjoying the silence. Easy. I was listening a lot of music in my early days. So now I'm 21. So when I was <laughs> I was 14, <laughs> 15. No, I was listening to all. Um, it was so variable i was listening to to jazz music for example emerson lake and paul uh, exhibition um, uh, pictures of an exhibition i love this i was listening to bands like zaga like barclay james Howard, like in excess mm -hmm. of course the purple things the beatles and so i always had a very colorful inspiration of writing music so i was not just focused on you have to write heavy metal i'm only listening to judas priest and our maiden or things like this yeah. i was very open-minded to all of styles of music and there are some people they wrote me some messages or emails and they really were saying chris did you ever listen uh, you were listening a lot of times to alan parsons project right and said yes yes and i think you can find a lot of elements of these untypical metal uh, elements or inspiration in our music and maybe this makes it a little bit unique to other typical metal bands so happy metal yes i agree <laughs> thank, thank you very much thank you very much <laughs> wow um so chris chris when he when you are writing a song so you're writing the music and the lyrics at the same time you how this is happening on it's totally different but totally mostly different. i'm starting with the music mm -hmm. starting with the music yeah and uh, then these um, um yeah these harmonies or or the groove or the instruments they are just then they are giving me back some inspiration for for a topic of a song or for yeah. the title or some parts of this but mostly it's about um Rainbows and dragons and unicorns. <laughs> the rainbow in the sky. I do not know why. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So um, you you said something. You know, before we started this interview, you said that you're heading heading tomorrow to Spain. Yes. Can you just tell us a little bit? You know, the next four or five shows, if you remember them. Yeah. Francesco, Can I tell, it. I'm tell it. Tell it. Why? I was I was good making the, the spectator. I was good making uh, the audience. Hello, uh, <laughs> my wife sent on me. Okay, uh, yeah, we have like um, tomorrow Spain, Zubaran Rock in Burgos. 
it's a uh, oh, actually for me it's a nice one because it's playing there one of my favorite bands when I, I started to listen to metal it's Tierra Santa from Spain oh. I, I really like them so they will uh, for me it's really nice playing the same festival then we are getting back and uh, the day after we are playing in Stuttgart Wolfies near in the Stuttgart near area Stuttgart. in the Stuttgart area the Wolfies and then um, there is almost a week when we are uh, working aside and we will be next week at the Wisdom Tut in Germany. Festival. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a smaller but very family festival. Also friends of us, the producer of our last four albums, he's one of the promoters. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and a lot yeah, that would be that would be a shame if we don't call freedom call down, you know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, oh, that's your that's your call. Then also. our biggest or big day, it's the Masters of Rock in the yes. <laughs> but the <laughs> more well, important the more important part is that we are celebrating our release date next week. Mm. So it will be a big release party, a two days party on Friday, starting at the Wis Wis yes. Wisdom Tooth yes. Festival, and it's continuing at the Masters of Rock. Yes. Unfortunately, yeah, the venue at the Masters of Rock is directly beside a distillery of whiskey and Slivovica. Yes, we know that. We all from we we who is from Czech Republic. We all I know, know you that. told us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool festival. When when do you when do you guys play? Oh, we have a uh, brilliant slot. So we are starting at uh, 7:30 and have a full show. And when which, which day? Saturday. On Saturday. Best on day. Saturday. Really? Okay, cool. And on the main stage. My, of course, yes. <laughs> I don't it's I don't even want morning. to ask. Yes, that's obvious. Yes, main Call stage. The the stage yes. is called Ronnie James Dio stage. Yes, it is. It yes, just, since his die. Yes, I know. Yeah. Just to tell it, Ronnie James Dio's birthday was the same birthday or is the same birthday than mine. Yes, which is next week. It's next week on Monday. Yes. So yeah. you're not supposed to drink beer yet because you're 20. You're not 21 yet. That's in America. German you, water. You, you can't. You cannot drink. You know any beer. You know. <laughs> well, so next from next Monday, you're allowed to have maybe one sip or two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Monday. So that means you're gonna celebrate this weekend or next weekend? Probably next weekend. Yeah, the so weekend we are busy. To travel That's around. True. Yeah, so Monday probably have to. Yeah, we have to probably on Monday do it. But of course, we will. We will find. <laughs> it. For you, it doesn't matter if it's Friday, Saturday, or Monday, or Tuesday. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so all the chicks, all the chicks are already waiting. <laughs> oh, they are. All right. Okay. Cool. So can can I can I down can I come over to Nuremberg as well? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hang out, hang out with you guys. <laughs> well, with the, the chicks. All right. Anyway, so um, uh, just ahead of it a little bit. So happy birthday, because I'm not going to see you after that. So happy birthday, Chris, uh, you know, for your 20th or first of birthday on Monday. This is the 10th. And uh, you guys, you know, Freedom Call is releasing the live album called Emmy and -E uh, M-E-T-A-L Fast. Um, and uh, next Friday, next Friday is coming out. And a couple of those songs already spinning on radioblastream.com. And uh, my guest tonight is Chris Bay and Francesco. I forget his last name, but Francesco is pretty no cool. The bass player. You bass never player. will forget it when I tell you, always thinking about small, red, fast cars from Italy. It's Ferrari. Ferrari, okay, and yeah. His, his name is Ferraro. Ferraro, Ferraro, Ferraro. Yeah, Yes. Car. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I have a very dear friend from uh, from America, from Chicago. He got a, a sweet, sweet factory, and the factory called Ferraro. Okay. Hey. There you yeah. go. So and now we remember producing? Francesco Ferraro, the bass player, Freedom. Call. And what's what's the factory producing? Sweets. Any ah, sweets? Are ah, you told? Yes. And candies, candies, sweets, anything sweet but sweet. But Ferraro is a very famous. 
Yeah, Ferrero. Ferrero, yeah, Ferrero. Yeah, yeah, Ferrero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not, yeah, not yeah, Ferrero, it's yeah, Ferrero. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's okay, different. Okay, okay. But uh, we were thinking that's the similar no. with the name of Ferrero, but it's quite <laughs> different. Yeah, yeah. We're just like, no, no, no. Think about that. Crazy yeah. Italians. Ferrero, Ferraro, Ferrari. It's Crazy all about Italians. Me. Yeah, nice stuff. <laughs> Well, he have he have like three Ferraris in his garage, but oh. that's another story. But his name is Ferraro. Okay, okay. let one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so guys, is anything else you like to add before I let you go? Um, did I forget anything? Do you like to mention anything? So, what we also have on our Blu-ray is a bonus film or movie or whatever. Yeah, some it's, present for the. It's called the Pirates yes. of the Caribbean. It okay. was filmed at the 70,000 tons of metal cruise. We did oh, I, this I like that show. I like that yes. show. Yes. It's from Miami, from, from the harbor in um, Miami. And this time to the Bahamas. Right. We spent an amazing time on the ship and on land in the Bahamas. And there we filmed some really funny scenes. When we had our day trip, when we were oh, jumping Bimini. In, in Bimini Islands, when we jumped into the yeah, beautiful Ocean. clear water and yeah, just fun. Including your guitar or just without yeah. the guitar? No. I get to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I was yep. feeding the sharks with his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give a little, you know, smack with the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> The bass falls about this much. Yeah, just smash his nose, you know, with the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, gentlemen, thank you very much, Chris, uh, Francesco. Thank I'm you very much you. for your time. And, Thanks for time. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, because I never see a live show. Believe it or not, never did. So hopefully, I'll see you so show live come. soon. <laughs> yes. So it's finally, finally time to come over and see you live. And uh, maybe we oh, can do another interview face to face. What do you say? You're welcome. You're welcome. Tell me. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. You're listening to Radio Blast Stream.